Rizwan, how's it going, bro? Long time. Yeah, I just, I just had a quick question for you. You know, like, you have a lot of young people in your family. I'm wondering what the young lads, you know, like the youngins these days, what are they into? Like, what kind of, what kind of gifts do you buy them usually? I'm not, I'm not being weird. You're being weird. What do you mean? What do you mean? How's this random? Okay, yeah, I didn't call him like a year, but... Hello? Rizwan? What's up guys? My name is Dosif Hussain and today we're saving relationships. We're saving humanity out there. Just like you saw in the intro sequence, in order to save relationships, today we're going to be talking about a few gift ideas that you guys can use for different budgets. Now before we get started, just a quick disclaimer, I actually reached out to tell us with a list of items that I would like to feature in this video and they were kind enough to hook me up with a bunch of them. So a bunch of the items that you're going to see in this video were courtesy of TELUS and they hooked it up. So thank you so much. Also, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because I will be doing a giveaway in this one. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The first item we're going to be talking about is this guy. This is the Google Home Max. Now this guy is huge and this guy is heavy, but with the weight comes a quality speaker. Now this is one of the best premium smart speakers you can get on the market right now. Now this speaker hosts Google Assistant, which in my opinion is the best smart assistant out there. So you can do a lot of things with this guy. Now these speakers actually have dual woofers and dual tweeters, which is why it is so big and heavy. Uh, but. What that means is it also gives you stereo sound and the sound quality in this is impeccable. This one comes with a magnetic pad at the bottom which kind of sticks onto the speaker. Uh, also the top has some touch controls which basically allow you to do playback controls or increase or decrease the volume. There is also a mute switch at the back. In terms of actual sound quality, now I'm no expert but from what I can tell the bass is actually pretty punchy, it's impressive and actually when, when you trigger the voice assistant it's actually kind of trippy because of the stereo audio and the quality of the speakers it almost sounds like the assistant is in the room with you so it's kind of trippy the mics in this work pretty well for the most part however if you have the volume really high up then it is a little finicky sometimes it doesn't trigger it which could be a problem if you're trying to shut it off and you're just yelling at the speaker so the bottom line is this is a good gift to give an entire family let's say you're buying something for the entire family or giving a gift to an entire family then it can easily fill up an entire room with the sound and it's something that everyone can use in the family right uh, you can use it to do a lot of things google assistant is super capable nowadays um, you can use it to control smart home lighting you can use it to control your smart locks or your thermostat you can even use it in the kitchen to read out recipes uh, while you're cooking or if you plug in a chrome Chromecast to your TV, you can actually use this to turn on Netflix and watch Arthur Grill right off the bat or any other show on Netflix this can get it done. So this speaker usually retails for 400 USD or 500 Canadian. Okay, next up. Ugh, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Next up is this guy, which is the Fujifilm Instax Mini, how do you say that, Instax? This is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 Instant Photo Camera. Now, this is actually pretty cool. I wouldn't mind carrying this around with me myself. Maybe not in this color though. Now, this is a super easy to use camera and it prints out your photos instantly. Now, keep in mind, you're not getting this camera for its quality or its low light capabilities. However, this is more of an artistic camera where you can use it to capture special moments or use it to get instant photos. And I've seen a lot of people do a lot of creative stuff 
with this, such as they use the photos for wall art or hanging up on their dressing table, or I've seen people even take a bunch of these pictures where they capture just the most special memories at a certain location and they will make a collage or an album out of it. So there's a lot of creative things you can do with it. One thing to keep in mind with this guy is the film that you get for this is actually pretty expensive. On average, if you were to buy film for this, you're looking to spend about $1 per photo. So make sure that when you take photos with this guy, you're actually using it to capture some moments rather than something with like your cell phone where you're just able to click away and have unlimited photos. In terms of price, this camera will run you about $70 USD or about $90 Canadian on average. The next product we're gonna discuss is the Samsung Gear Icon X 2018 edition. Now these headphones have good sound with passive noise isolation, which basically means they go into your ear canal um, and prevent a lot of sound going in. Therefore, it's good for noise isolation. Now these headphones have a touch sensitive back which allow you to control playback controls or control the volume or trigger ambient sound controls or even trigger your smart assistant. Now the ambient sound controls on this are actually pretty neat. Let's say you're at the office or you're traveling or driving and you wanna be able to hear the outdoor environment you can actually turn on ambient sound which will trigger the microphones to turn on and you'll be able to hear the outside noise as well. Now something cool is that these headphones actually have 4 GB of onboard storage which means that you can store a bunch of soundtracks on here uh, and you don't need to take your phone. You can just throw these in your ear and just head outside for a run or to the gym. So the bottom line is the Samsung Gear Icon X is a good gift for anybody looking for a sleek, low profile in-ear pair of headphones that are not only light, but also feature intuitive touch controls that have ambient sound features and also feature onboard storage. Now these usually retail for $200 USD or $300 Canadian. Next up is the iHome Smart Plug ISP6. What's that? Ah, something's poking me in the head. Ugh. Okay, it's this guy. How'd that get there? So basically this will turn any dumb pluggable device into a smart device. So for example, if you plug an air conditioning unit or a light or your fan in your room or anything like that, if you plug it into this guy, then it will allow you to control it through Google Assistant or Siri or Nest or Alexa. So if you have lamps or a fan in your room, I'm your biggest fan. No, not that kind of fan. Then this will work just great. All right guys, so that about sums up today's video. If you wanna enter the giveaway, then all you have to do is click the link in the description down below where I will say in big bold letters, giveaway, then if you click that link, it'll give you a bunch of things you can do in order to get entries into the giveaway. And after you've done all the things to enter the draw, there's just one last step. You All you gotta do is head over to the TELUS website and find one item that you'd be interested in getting and leave it in the comment section down below what you would like. And what we will do is we will go through the draw. I will pick one lucky winner and that one lucky winner will win something from the TELUS holiday gift guide. And I will announce that on Instagram or Twitter. So make sure you're following me either way. That being said, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you found this video beneficial or helpful to you, then make sure you guys go ahead and crush that like button. If you like content around tech, gadgets, filmmaking, tips and tricks, then make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And as usual, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah, this is like what Shoya lifts in the gym.